Now, I believe you're going to show us a few trucks that you got here. Yeah, I've got a few trucks up in the engine bay. All right. Let's go this way. Sounds good. Go, kids. actually a noise for an emergency, Ozzy. We've got to go. We've got to go? Yeah, we've got a job. Um, can I come? Yeah, of course you can. Ready? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, kid. So we've got an incident at the Emily Maintenance Center, Oscar. Okay. So both trucks are going. Both trucks. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's go. Ready to go? Yeah, all good. Ready Come on. Go. Those train wheels on the track. Yep. Oh, I feel it's going up. Yep. So that's the front wheels off the rail. Yeah, good outcome. Yep. Everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. It's all done now. We're going to go back to the station. All right, let's go. <laughs> Aussie, Aussie. G'day, kids. Thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out, and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day, Aussie. 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 G'day, to the rail fire and emergency station in Sydney. Now what's better than a train and a fire engine? A fire engine that can go on train tracks. I know it's insane. We're gonna go and find one inside and learn all about the job these guys do. Come and join Aussie, this is gonna be fun. Check this out, the rail fire and emergency. Let's go and find someone who can tell us all about what they get up to here. G'day mate! Hey Ozzy, how are you? I'm well, what's your name? My name's Tim. Tim, nice to meet you. Same to you. Thanks for having us here today. Yep. Now, I believe you were going to show us a few trucks that you got here. Yeah, I've got a few trucks up in the engine bay. Alright, let's go this way. Sounds good. Let's go kids. We're going to see what this place is all about and Tim's going to show us some fire trucks. Come through Ozzy. Oh, you beauty. Wow, look at this! That's fire our, truck. This is our first truck. It's our okay. day to day pumper. Go to normal fire calls with this, go around, do normal operations, and 
um, issue hot work permits. Okay. So I'll show you around some of the equipment we've got on it, then I'll show you a one of a kind truck up top. Amazing. So this is the rail fire and emergency uh, station. Yes. But this one is a regular fire truck that drives on the road. Yes, that's correct. All right, let's go and check this one out and then we'll go check out the one of a kind. Wow, so this is, I think I remember what this is called. Is this called a locker? Yes, a locker, that's correct. All right, and what's kept in this one? So this one's got a range of things. We've got a big water pump, small water pump, chainsaw. A chainsaw. We and love chainsaws, don't we? Like everyone, good old power tools. You need the power tools. <laughs> everyone loves a power tool. That's right. All right, that's a cool locker. I like that one, but there's another one here. Another locker. Okay. Lighting and first aid. Lighting and first aid, always very important. Yep, definitely very important. All right, now this is a big truck. How, how big is this truck? Massive. Eight, eight meters. Eight meter truck, there you go, kids. And fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers. So if it's a little fire, we you can use. can use a fire extinguisher. Yep, that's it. Okay. I'd rather use a little one than have to get all the water off this one. Right, so this truck holds water, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, now how do you get the water out of the truck? Get the water out of the truck with this big pump. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. Look at all these levers and all these gauges and buttons. Amazing. So the water is, where's the water, Tim? The water's behind this hose. And all the way at the back there somewhere. 2,000 litres worth. 2,000 litres? Yep. That's massive. Uh, maybe 2,000 litres, but this pump can move 4,000 litres a minute. A minute? Yes. So if there's 2,000 litres on here, where do you, you get the extra water from? Uh, out of the hydrant in the ground. Right, so one of those red things usually? Yep. Okay. One of... We're gonna see it. These. One of these. All right, so that's called a fire hydrant. Yep. Okay, and you put a hose on the end of there. Hose on the end of there. And you pump the water out of the ground. Up, uh, turn the valve on. Yep. And the water comes out, into there. Into there, and then you put your hose on here. Well, that's your hose there, right? That's one off, yep. And then, can I take it off? Yeah, of course you can. Amazing. There you go. So then you pull it out like this, and you squirt it towards the fire. <laughs> yep. And the water will come out and put the flames out. Yep, that's correct. Amazing. I'm a ready-made firefighter. Oh, almost, just need a <laughs> uniform. Uniform and probably need to do a bit of training, right? Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so Tim, how long have you been a firefighter? Uh, close to 23 years. 23 years? It's a long time. And how long have you been here at the Rail Fire and Emergency Department? I've been here for seven years. Seven years. Yep. All right, well, I'm going to ask you a bit more about this particular job as we go around, but should we check out this truck a bit more? Yep, that's fine. So where I got the hydrant from? So okay, it's so a hydrant, hose. hose. Yep. All right. To help get water in the truck quick. Yeah, good. Okay, more fittings. Hoses, is this a hose? Branch. Branch, it's called a branch. Or the kids know it as a nozzle. A nozzle, so that's what goes on the end of the hose, and it's called a branch, that's a technical term, or a nozzle. And you push it forward. Close. Close, pull it back, and that's what lets the water out. Yep, that's correct. And then you can turn that? Yep. And what does that do? So that changes it from a fog or to a pencil. A pencil, which I guess is straight. Yes, yeah, straight. And yep. a fog, which is like wide. Yep. There you go, kids. We're learning lots here today. So All right. this one's a bit of a, a mix of everything. Miscellaneous pocket. Okay. So we've got a range of different things that we need to look after ourselves, like witches hats to protect, extra personal equipment, okay. things like that. So. All right. What's in the next locker? Next locker. So this one, some personal gear for the guys on the truck. Okay. So extra helmets, bush jackets, um, chemical suits. Okay. And then we've got rescue gear. So kids will know this one as Jaws of Life. The Jaws of Life. Okay, so what's the Jaws of Life used for? So it can be used on car accidents, um, opening and cutting doors. Okay. We use it on trains to help lifting, things like that. Yeah. Right, so that can cut through metal? Can cut through metal, yep. That's amazing. So you did mention here that you've got some bushfire gear. Now I know that we've got the, the RFS, which is the Rural Fire Service. Yep. We've got the uh, New South Wales Fire and Rescue. Yep. And they're two different divisions, and then we've got you guys. Yes, that's correct. All right, which is the rail, fire, and emergency yep. service. Okay, so what's the difference between the three? So the difference between the three, the rural fire service specialise in bushfires. Okay. Um, that's their main um, call. Okay. Fire and rescue specialise in structure and hazmat, and right. we specialise in railway incidents. Right, okay. So 
A truck like this, it's built for the road, so you can respond to other incidents, but how do you get to an incident or a fire that's on the railway? I've got a special truck for you, it's one of a kind. You've got a special truck, and we're allowed to see it today. Of course he's up. You're a beauty, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Come on, kids. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. Amazing. One of a kind in Australia. All right, and what type of truck is this called? Has it got a special name? This is called a high rail vehicle. A high rail vehicle? HRV. HRV. Yep. All right, to me, it looks pretty similar to the other one. It's got wheels, it's big, it's red, it's got some, some fluoro colors, and it's got your logo on it, but what makes it different? So what makes this one different is if you look under here, Aussie, we've got some train wheels, as the kids would know it. So these wheels lower down on the ground at the front and the back of the truck, the truck raises up and we can actually drive it on the train track. So this is like a, a hybrid vehicle. It can drive on the road and on the train tracks. That is correct. That is clever. Yeah. And it's one of a kind. One of a kind. And you've got it. Yep. And we get to see it. Yes, of course you do. Amazing. All right, so can you give me a little walk around and show me all the different parts of this one? Yep, we'll go down this way first. Come on kids. So it's got a locker like the other, the, the truck over there, the pump. You call them pumps, don't you? Yes. The one over there's a pump. This one's a... All fire trucks have lockers. Okay. So this locker has a big fan. Big fan. Big and small hoses. Okay. So yep. you use the big hose to get more water. Yep. The smaller hose, smaller fittings, to get less water. Yes. So for a smaller fire. Yep. Yeah, okay. That makes sense to me. Big water, big fire. Small water, small fire. Well, that makes sense to <laughs> me too. Hopefully it makes sense to the kids. Exactly. All right. So I'll show you in there in a minute. Oh, that looks different. It'll we'll look come fair. back to that. Okay, and we've got, oh, we learned about this one just over on the other truck, but this one's pretty big. What's this one's called? It's called a branch. Yep, that's correct. Just the bigger one. Yep, and forward and backwards, and you can twist this one left and right, the pencil or the fog. <laughs> All right, what is that? So this here is a special submersible pump that we've got. Works on low pressure oil. We can actually put this in tunnels or in pits okay. and it can move 6,000 litres a minute. So it can pump the water out? Yes. Right, so sometimes you're pumping the water onto flames to put them out, but in this occasion you would use this to pump water out of something where too much water's got into. Yep, so for example one of our tunnels here in Sydney is commonly floods Right. after big uh, rain, so we okay. actually go out there, put this in and use the range of hoses here. Oh, that's what all those hoses are for? Yep. There is plenty there, isn't there? And we can put this in and pump out. We've actually sat there and pumped for 20 hours straight before. 20 hours. So this would be useful if uh, one of the tunnels fills up with water and the train line is can't, can't go through, the trains can't go through there, right? Yep, that's there's water correct. in it. So you guys come in, pump all the water out, and then the trains can just get back to normal, taking commuters and passengers all around the city. Yes. Yep. Very clever. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Learning lots here today. Next one. Wow. So this is all our rail safety stuff. Okay. So witches hats. Witches hats. Red lights, flags, and that's also our detonator. Okay. So, What's a detonator? So a detonator is a little explosive that sits on the top of the railhead, and we put that down. So when a train comes up to it and hits three of them, it must come to a stop. Wow. It's actually so it's like an explosive. Yeah, it's like but only a, a mini one. Only and a it's mini used explosive. for safety. Yes, for safety to protect us guys on the track. Oh, so that okay, you put that out when you're in there operating, so the train hits it, it knows that you guys are in there, it stops, you guys are safe, everyone's safe. Yes, that's correct. Makes sense. How good. Come around further. All right, we're gonna come back to the back, I think. We're going around to the side. All right, so we've got what have we got here? We've got generators, petrol. Another fire extinguisher. A little fire extinguisher, petrol, and the generator is used to give you power. Yes, give us okay. power. And it will give us power for these, all the lighting. Okay. Lighting, power boards, and extension leads. Okay, there's lots of gear there. Now, what would you need lighting for? So, we can actually provide lighting inside a tunnel. Okay. Um, also at a platform, so if they've had a blackout. All right. And go there and make it safe for the passengers. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, really cool. You guys think of everything. Oh, yeah, they got us covering everything. <laughs> That's great, fantastic. So this one here is a little rescue locker. So we've got a couple of bits of tools, um, some triangles and suction caps so we can actually remove glass windows out of the trains. Okay, so if you need to get into a train, there might be an incident and you need to take the glass off, you can use that. Yep. And you can cut the glass and cut everything to get in. Yep. Amazing, <laughs> really cool. Now I can't help it feel this stuff behind me. We've got some, some uniforms. Yes. Can we talk about uniforms? Of course. All right. So if we head back this way, this is all my gear. 
Okay, so you've got a lot of safety gear when you're being called out to a, a job. Yep. So what do we start with, a helmet? You're gonna keep your, he your head safe, right? Yep, so that's one helmet of ours. So we use that for um, structure fires, um, train fires, that type of thing. Okay. So it's got a visor on the front. Yeah, right. So protect our face. Okay. Also internal comms, so it connects it onto our radio. Wow. So it actually comes down in front of us. That's clever. And the speaker's in the ear there. Okay, so you can hear and talk and stay safe at all the yep, same time. so most people call it a fighter helmet, fighter jet helmet. Yeah, it looks like one. That's really <laughs> cool. That's awesome. You got a couple of jackets there. Yep, so this is the this is our structural firefighting gear. Okay. It's what everyone normally sees. Yes. So a set of pants with suspenders. Really thick. And then our jacket. And in the jacket, we have a torch to help us see again, and then gloves to protect our hands. Protect your hands. That gives us light so we can see. And it's really thick material to keep you, one, to keep you warm, but two, to keep you protected from the flames. Mainly we keep us protected. Yep. Of course. And reflective strips so that other people can see you and you can see other people. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I guess if you've got a torch and you shine that towards one of these, it'll reflect yes. a lot, won't it? Yeah. Yep. Cool. Makes yeah, it a bit yeah. easier for cars to see as well. So if we're near a roadway or anything, of course, we'll reflect in the middle of the yeah, night. Yeah, great. Safety first. Yep, safety first. Now we're going to need to keep our feet protected. You got some pretty strong boots there. There we go. There's the boots. All right. So the volleys won't cut it. Then. then... <laughs> oh, back. Back 20 years ago, they might have cut it, not yeah. anymore. <laughs> not, not so safe in the volleys, you need to have these ones. Probably got it, yeah, steel cap. Protect your toes, really strong. Yep, cool. Yep. And they're actually waterproof up to there. Wow, okay. So you can actually go in the water. All right, so it keeps your feet dry. Yep. They're cool. And then you've got a different jacket. Different jacket, so. Okay. This is known as our multi-purpose. So we can use this for bushfires, rescues, Okay. That type of thing, or general purpose jobs. Okay. Something where we need protection, but we don't need the thickness of this, right. so we actually don't get hot. Okay. So. Very yeah. good, so you've got a lot of gear. Yes, Fantastic. Lots of gear. Now I interrupted you, you were showing me around the truck, I just had to talk about the uniform. No, that's fine. But should we go and check out the inside of the truck? Yeah, let's go, we'll go that way. Wow, we get to go on it. Oh, wow. What have we got here? It says air. Yes. Okay. Pretty much what it is. It's the same air as what you breathe outside. Right. Okay. So if you're in amongst the smoke, yep. you put one of those, one of these things called. So that's what these here are for, this little mask. mask. We put it on the valve. We turn these on, put the mask on. There's the mask there, but it's all. So it's still sealed okay. up and protected. Right. So it's ready for someone to be, to, to use. Yep put it on there and then we'll actually turn that on and they've actually got air so okay. they can breathe along. All right. Them out. So there's, I noticed there's a lot of masks and there's some big bench seats and seat belts. Why is there so much seating in here? So there's so much seating. This truck is designed to drive into tunnels. So hey. we need to get someone from in, in a tunnel, like from a train fire or a train that's trapped in a section. Okay. We'll put this high rail on the tracks and reverse it in towards the train. Right pull up short of the train, then our firefighters can actually go out, help people, get them on in the back here, get them secured in, put oxygen on if they need them, and then drive them back out to safety. Okay, so you can get the passengers from the train, and then they become passengers on this yes. fire truck, and then you drive them out to safety. Yep. That's really cool. So the air here is actually for the passengers, and it's all connected up through those masks, through the tubes and stuff. Yes, that's correct. How good's that? Awesome. And what else have we got in here? I see you've got some, lots of bags and stuff up here. So it's just standard first aid, so if we get first there aid. and there's injured passengers, okay. we've got first aid to treat all the passengers. Okay, very good. Yeah. Amazing, there's a lot of room in here. How many people can you fit on here? 12 sitting or more, depending. Okay. So these Stokes litters um, can carry people in them. Okay, what did you call this? Stokes litter. Stokes litter? Yeah, Stokes litter. Okay. So they actually, um, you'll see them like um, with helicopters, police rescue, people like that. I actually put them in, lift them up off cliffs. Right. They're a good carrying device to carry passengers. So it's passengers. like a stretcher yes. where you lay injured passengers down and then someone, well, a few people can yep. lift that and carry them to safety. Yes, that's correct. So if we put someone in there, we can actually lay. Can fit them here. Fit them here on the ground. Amazing. Yep. Awesome. Now that looks like a pretty good uh, boot or back door. Yeah. <laughs> that looks fun. Can we that open is. that? Yep. Ah. There we go. Whoa, look at that. 
and it's even got its own set of stairs. All right, which I guess is useful to bringing passengers up. So you bring them off the train up in here. Yep. Reassure them, let them know they're going to be safe. Sit them down, hook them up if they need to. Yep. To the oxygen, they can strap in, seatbelt on, yep. and off you go. Yeah, that's exactly right. How good's that? That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> and then there's this here. So this is a safety net. So as I said, we'll reverse into the train. Okay. So we can put the safety net in place. And as we're reversing back, myself or the firefighter that's here at the back can have a thermal camera or something like that. Can use communications or the one like I'm wearing and talk to the driver and actually hello, watch where hello. they're going. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if anything goes wrong, they can't fall out. Okay, yeah, so another safety thing. Yep. I can't help but notice this thing. Can, you, can I take that out? Yeah. That's just the light, is it? Yep. Nice and bright. <laughs> Watch your eyes, kids. All right, so what have we got here? So this is the thermal camera I was talking about. Okay. And what does the thermal camera do? So the thermal camera helps firefighters and other rescue personnel locate hot spots, people, anything that will actually show up a heat source. Oh, okay. All right, so what I'll do is I'll put a battery in it and turn it on and show you. All right. This is really cool. If you go stand over there, there you go, do a little dance. <laughs> Even if you rub your foot, rub your foot there. Wow. The friction that's causing that. That's heat. amazing. Okay, so that can pick up, that's used to pick up people that you might not be able to see. They might be further down the end of a train or something and you just point that towards the direction yep and then you'll you'll pick them up if they're because they're body heat yep so it's Amazing. great in um at night time in dark environments right. smoke filled environments yeah, of course to find people amazing so, yeah such good equipment okay so we've we've covered off a lot already but yep. Uh, we know the difference between yourself and fire and rescue and uh, the rural fire service. Yep. What are some of the jobs that you might get called to? So some of the jobs that we get called to on the railways are um, assist the public, medical jobs, um, flooded train lines. Pumping the water out. Yep, train accidents, um, cars stuck on the railway line. Really? We even get called to birds stuck in our stations. Birds? Yeah, birds. So what do you do with a bird? How do you how do you get a bird out? Depending on the circumstance, we've got to catch it. Okay. So one, we caught it in the, in the corner of a window, okay. got up the ladder, caught him, and then released him outside. Okay, so, so you're the bird whisperer. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, so you keep people safe, keep animals safe. You do everything you need to do to keep the train line moving, yeah? Yes, that's correct. Amazing. Yep. Awesome, that's a really cool job. So for any kids that are out there that just loving what they're seeing today, how do you get into a job like yours? So for myself, I actually was a train guard, so I used to work on the trains. Right. And then with my firefighting background, when the position became available, I okay. applied. So. so you were already a firefighter and a train guard? Yep. Okay, in the rural fire service? Uh, fire and rescue. Fire and rescue, Yep. amazing. So you did all, all sorts of fun things. Yeah. And now you combine the two Yep. in this perfect job? Yep. Amazing. Hey, it's fun. <laughs> oh, it certainly, certainly sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so we've seen a lot of the truck outside, inside. Can we go and check out the front? Yeah, of course. All right, you lead the way. Let's go. Jump in there, Ozzy. Oh, how good. And I'll meet you on the other side. Cut my handle so that I can get up safely. Oh. Here he is. Tim's on the other side, so Tim's the driver. And I'm the passenger. Yep. So right. this is the front of the truck. Steering wheel, gear stick, electronic device. Okay. That provides us details going to the incident. Like an iPad? Yeah, like an iPad. So you can play games? No, 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 games. no, 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 no oh, games. Oh, we try, but the boss won't let it. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so that'll give us the information about where we need to go and what we're responding to? Yes, that's correct. Okay, very cool. Um, and then all the controls to operate the train wheels, the lights and everything on here. Very good. And you said train wheels, not training wheels. Yeah, train wheels. Right, so it's not like the wheels you have on bikes. <laughs> no, nah, nah. right. Okay, so they're the train <laughs> wheels underneath. All right, and you've got a, a radio here. Yep. Breaker Breaker, this is Ozzy coming in to, uh, to rescue uh, people in Central Station. <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> Probably not. That's okay, I'm learning. All right, and what have we got some tanks here, I see? 
Ah, uh, so these are cylinders, the same as what you've seen in the back? Yes. They've got air in them. Okay. But this is actually for the driver and for yourself. Okay. So if we go into a smoke-filled environment, we can actually put that on and I can actually be wearing that driving through the smoke-filled environment. Okay. So, so you're not breathing in the smoke and yes. getting yourself sick and passing out? Yeah. Don't All get right. sick, don't pass out. Yep. None of that bad Very stuff. Good. So there's, there's, that's two people, there's yourself and then a, a passenger. Yep. How many other uh, people work on a crew that get called out to an incident? Uh, rangers from day to day, like we've got three of us today. Three? That okay. work together. Some days we have four. Alright. So, yeah. And will they ride in the back or will they go in another vehicle? Uh, so if we get an incident, the main pump will go and then if this one's required, then this one will follow on. Yeah, okay, cool. So, so yeah. you could drive either. You're yes. qualified to do all of it. Yep, that's correct. How good's that? What a great job. <laughs> Skilled for everything. Absolutely. Tim, what's that noise? That's actually a noise for an emergency, Aussie. We've got to go. We've got to go? Yeah, we've got a job. Um, can I come? Yeah, of course you can. Ready? Oh, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go, kids. real emergency and we're allowed to join join in this is next level so what do we got here Tim so we've got an incident at the Everly maintenance center Oscar okay. so both trucks are going both trucks you ready to rock and roll let's roll let's go I guess I'm gonna need some safety gear yeah I've got some for you yes That one goes, you and I will get dressed and we'll follow on. Alrighty. Two real firefighters in the truck, in the pump, ready to go. And then Tim and I are going to get our gear on. I'm going to jump in the HRV. Now the lights are on, but it's important to remain calm. It's all new to me, so I'm a little bit excited. You can see how the firefighters and Tim are remaining calm. So can I use this? Throw this gear on, Ozzy. Alrighty. Oh, am I Ready? good to go? Yeah, all good. Grab Tell your helmet. Me. You can zip it up in the truck. Alright. Let's go, kids. You can Surround come with your us. Side. I'll ride in the front. Yep, jump in the front. Tim, where are we heading? We're heading to Everly Maintenance Centre. Everly Maintenance Centre. And did it say what we're responding to? Uh, we've got a train incident there that we possibly need the high rail to get to. Wow. So we're going to drive over Everly on the roads, then we're going to put the train wheels down and go on the track. Yep, that's correct. And our other primary pump is actually on its way there already. It's already on its way. <laughs> Coming into the Everly Maintenance Centre. Okay. We've still got to be careful because we can still have trains driving oh, through. Right.
We made it. Kids, that was exciting. And that was well driven by Tim and it's the crew directing him there so that he could line those train wheels up with the tracks and then lower them, which lifts the front wheels off the track. Look at the back ones, they're floating. This is unreal. But I think this is where my journey ends. The guys have got to go off to the incident. So we're going to wave them goodbye and wish them all the best. But how lucky are we getting to come along with these guys? Yo kids, what an awesome experience that was, getting to meet some of the team from the fire, rail and emergency services. And how cool is that fire truck with the train wheels that come out the bottom and go on the tracks? Amazing. Kids, I hope you loved it as much as I did. We'll see you on another brand new episode of Aussie coming up this Sunday. And until then, stay keen and stay safe. If you haven't already, make sure you get a great up to help you hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on any of the new and exciting videos that we put out. Speaking of new and exciting, if there's a video that you'd love to see Aussie do, make sure you send us a message on our socials, on Facebook or Instagram at Aussie for Kids. We'll see you again soon kids, and until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen kids. Ozzy, 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 Oi! Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of